Okay, so today we're going to talk about hyponatremia and how do uh, thiazides, why do thiazides cause hyponatremia compared to the other um, to the other drugs? Okay, so hyponatremia, uh, thiazides, thiazides. Remember, that's your thiazides. That's like the ties in the sketchy um, sketchy farm video. So thiazides are chlor. Uh, Hydro, uh, hydrochlorothiazides and chlorothiodone. So how do they cause hyponatremia? Remember that they block this part right here. So they block, um, they block this part of the nephron. So I'm gonna call this as just a block symbol. Oops, sorry about that. So they block this part of the nephron, which is in charge of taking the um, sodium chloride. So they block sodium chloride and that means that there is more sodium in the nephron that le reaches here. Now remember that because loop uh, thiazides do not block this part, they do not block uh, this part right here. This part is okay. That means that you have in the inter in, in the interstitium you still have a really good concentration of sodium. So you have a whole lot of sodium here, 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 here. I'm just putting this in green dots, okay? So what that means is that you could not uh, you could not take in more sodium. You have a sodium is still leaving here, right? So you still have a lot of gradient of sodium. So the water leaves when you come here. The water is happy to leave. But uh, remember this part, the, the thick ascending limb is impermeable to water. But this part is permeable to water. So what happens is the water leaves, but because you have blocked the sodium, the sodium, of course, there's some sodium uptake in the uh, principal cells, but not as much. So the water leaves, but the sodium cannot leave. So because the sodium cannot leave, um, you get hyponatremia, right? Because hyponatremia is basically a water problem. You have more water than sodium. So that's why thiazides cause hyponatremia because they don't stop the water. The water goes down its gradient because uh, you still have a very strong um, concentrated uh, concentrated or you have a really good concentration gradient. in the uh, medulla so water leaves but you blocked the sodium reabsorption remember that here is about um, sodium reabsorption and that end is about I would like I would want to say <laughs> sodium reabsorption is about uh, well it's about four uh, percent or something. Let's say it's about four percent, but that can still make a very big difference, right? Or versus here, it's twenty-five percent absorption. So there you have it. This is why thiazides are worse because they the water is out, but the sodium does not get reabsorbed. Now, if you compare it to the loop diuretics, pardon my drawing of the nephron. It was not perfect, but it should get the job done. Okay. So now this is the loop diuretics. They block this part right here, right? This is blocked. That means that the sodium does not leave. You still have a lot of sodium here. You just have a little bit. That means that by the time the water gets here, there's not much of a concentration gradient. There is very little concentration gradient. So the sodium doesn't leave and the water doesn't leave. So I'm going to say low concentration gradient. So water loss and sodium loss. So that should explain why thiazides cause hypernitremia, a hyponitremia, excuse me.